Now, in just a few days, South Korea's first space rocket developed entirely using domestic technology, the Nuri, will be taking off for the second time on June 15th. The Nuri project began more than 12 years ago. Our Kim do walks us through its history. Just two days to go until the South Korean space rocket, Nuri, takes off for the second time. It was in March of 2010 that the government decided to develop the country's own rocket with no outside help. Specifically, the goal was to secure the development know-how to build a launch vehicle that can carry a 1.5-ton application satellite into low orbit. Six years later, in early May 2016, the key to this project, the 75-ton engine, underwent its first test. It burned for one and a half short seconds. By the end of May, burn time had increased to 30 seconds. 200 tests have been done since, with the goal of achieving at least 145 seconds. Two years later, the engine reached its potential on the ground and so it was time to launch a test vehicle. In this test, the single engine burned for 151 seconds, which was 11 seconds longer than the goal that day of 140 seconds. Through today's test launch, we have confirmed that preparations for the development of Nuri are on course. The core technology and the hardest part of the project to develop, the 75-ton engine, was tested today. This made South Korea only the seventh country in the world to have its own liquid-fueled medium-to-large-size engine. But sending Nuri into space for the first time would take a total of five of these engines. When it lifted off in October 2021, the nation was transfixed. But in this first test, it fell a bit short. The 7-ton engine in the third stage stopped burning around 40 seconds too soon, which meant the dummy satellite did not reach the intended orbit. But just before the launch, a scientist had told me this was just the beginning. Even if we don't succeed this time around, we will be gaining a lot of new technology. We can analyze the aspects where we succeeded and the ones where we didn't and improve on them to make the second one a success. The second launch was already scheduled at that point for mid-2022, so scientists analyzed the problems and worked hard to fix them. And on June 9th, with fingers crossed, a third stage was attached to the rocket. Now, the second launch is scheduled for June 15th, this time with the rocket carrying some actual working satellites. We'll know whether it was a success or not about hour and 45 minutes after liftoff. Kim Do-yeol, Arirang News.